Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are filming here at Bella Domicile today in their fabulous showroom on Nesbitt Road. And we're going to talk antiques. So antique shopping is just becoming more and more popular with all the shows that are teaching us how to reuse and repurpose and uh, just wonderful things. And now we get to talk to Sue Duncan, who joins us from Odana Antiques. We're so excited to have you. Oh, thank you. And we get to talk a little bit about fall. So if you would share with us what's new for <laughs> fall and how does the merchandise sort of change and shift as we get into sure. fall? Fall is huge. Yeah. Uh, it, gone is all the remnants of summer, all the plantings and uh, boating and that mm -hmm. type of activity. And now we have something for your home, your hearth, and uh, your hedge, so to speak. <laughs> so it's a uh, um, plethora of blankets are coming in uh, to keep you cozy when you're sitting oh, around the fireplace. Things you don't think of. Number of fireplace like items. We've got great fur coats for uh, the upcoming holiday season. Ooh, I like wow. that. Lovely fur stoles for under $200 in mink. Um, um, great Pendleton jackets. We've got skis and toboggans and snowshoes and people are switching over to that more cabin-esque kind of look. Uh, more fireplace equipment, more mantles and just darker furniture. People are starting to think cozy and warm. Sure. Absolutely. Well yeah, that sounds fun. fun. Yeah, yeah it does sound yeah. fun. I wish I had a fireplace. <laughs> and you can have a mantle without one. I know, right. <laughs> All these items you don't think of uh, for antiquing, you know, some of the things you, mm -hmm. you mentioned, I didn't even realize you carried, so mm -hmm. that's neat. So as we get closer to the holidays, holidays are, um, a big part of the holidays are traditions. Mm -hmm. So how can antiques maybe create some new traditions or help embrace the old traditions that we've come up with? I, I think there are two ways to do that. The first is to bring children, if you're a grandparent or a parent, bring your children in and show them what you loved when you were a kid. Oh, and perhaps good. recreate that tradition. We always had those little candles at mm -hmm. um, Thanksgiving time, the little pilgrims, and um, at Christmas time, the little choir people that I were made by girls. Yeah. Maybe and I shouldn't we, admit that. We have a ton <laughs> of those. So start your child on a collection. The other thing is to embrace what you have in your home that is old. So if you're doing uh, Thanksgiving dinner, bring out Aunt Betty's uh, tea service. Make sure you've got that little box that Grandpa made in wood shop. Um, try and bring the things that represent who your family is and how they came to be. And this is the time to show them off and um, kind of embrace and celebrate your family's history. I, I like love you. you know my family. You just named like, <laughs> real <laughs> things that I have and the names are right yeah. too. And I loved your comment of bring, bring someone into the store to show them what was important when you were younger. Mm -hmm. That was a comment yeah. I had made last time we visited with you is that I made the mistake of going alone to your store mm -hmm. and there were so many things that I wanted to show somebody. Mm -hmm. Look at I this. have that. I yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So I love doing this in my apartment. Um, my mom <coughs> sent me a lot of antiques when she sold her house and I have um, kind of struggled with mixing in new decor mm -hmm. and um, fitting it with the old. Mm -hmm. Can you give me some advice on how to decorate with the new and old antiques? Well, first it's okay to do it your way. It doesn't have to be anybody else's rules for what you like. But I'd like to pick your brain about okay. it because I bet you could do a pretty good job. I have seen people with amazingly modern furniture add two or three accent pieces that were from an old country store. So everything's chrome and leather, but there's that great old display cabinet that says planter's peanuts on I it in the side. Yeah. Yes. Or they may take, um, Gears are popular this year, hugely popular, and film canisters, and they may do a very modern living room with very old industrial type pieces or architectural pieces on the wall. Sure. Almost a steampunky kind of thing, yeah. but mm -hmm. not really kind of juxtaposing the old and the new. And then the most important part of that is take what has meaning for you. If something really reminds you of your mom or growing up in that house, you know, work that in around your decor because when you see that you're going to have trigger back to those good feelings from sure. home. That's yeah. what's hard for me is because I'm only in 670 square feet and there's just so much. <laughs> I should focus on a few pieces, right? Storage yeah. shed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah storage. <laughs> That's fun. I love the idea of mixing and matching and we already are getting close to time, I can't believe it, but I want to ask you about a holiday item really quick okay. because I love asking you about unusual items that you get. So okay. what's the most unusual holiday yeah. item you've ever had? Well, right now, and it's strange, um, one of our dealers put a skeleton in a 1950s um, beauty parlor chair. So you come around the corner and there's a full skeleton getting his hair done. Oh gosh. Getting Does his a skeleton hair. have hair? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kind of why it's a little strange. Is it in the that. store? Or it is in the store. Okay. And last year we had a mummified cat. Uh, but we pulled that due to interests of better taste. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that. So lots of great items. That is unusual. That's unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Love 
of it. You did ask. I did ask. Yes. You asked correct. Well, thank you so much, Sue. You're Go welcome. see Sue over at Odana Antiques. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be right back. We're going to be talking to a very unique charity that is helping children in need who are needing a birthday celebration. So stick around. We'll be back with Box of Balloons after this.